greetings, it is I, Tantus Nair and Andrew Coven, Lord and Emperor of the Jacobin Empire, welcome! Today is going to be something special, it's the first of a new set of videos I'm going to do, I hope you enjoy them. I'm going to be doing little, like, little things, summarizing my role-playing adventures that I go on. Maybe you'll find them interesting, at least they're a little miniature summary, so without further ado... It's a time to return to the post-apocalyptic adventures in Pathfinder. We've of course found ourselves in the distant future in Galerion. When we last left off, our team, of course, was Eins, the clip-off team pink hunter, a yeah! horrifying individual who can shape change into animals and takes the aspects of them, kind of like an animal slot machine. Bear Tiger Bull it is. Then there is Lan, the human brawler, who punches stuff and runs a frat house. Enough said. Of course, uh, we have Reginald Palpatine. Yeah, that fits. Then there's Amsmash, the half-orc barbarian, with a jetpack! There's the silent sniper person who chooses not to talk ever, annoyingly. Who can? A worker or something rather or something name. Oh, and then there's Alchemist, whose name escapes me because he's almost never shows up for any sessions. Anyway, our team just defeated the servant of the last god, Riff, or Caden Kalian as he actually is who, of course, now is sort of a ghoul, but also not, and sort of a god at the same time. Kind of confusing. Anyway, from him, we got the Time Dragon Egg. It happens to have been hidden inside the heart of the Mega Mutant Terrace, which is apparently the mountain we were inside of, actually, and what we had been traveling within. We realized this. And it was waking up! So this was pleasant. So our paladin NPC, who I totally didn't mention, was there, of course, because... We didn't have the full complement of characters. He used his ability uh, and combined it with a railgun our team had to smite a hole out the side of it. Turns out it had already waken up and stood up, so we fell out. Lan managed to repel down and use his super speed to climb down the creature very quickly. Our silent but deadly friend, who uh, also has a jetpack and was the one that owned the railgun, grabbed Palpatine and the paladin so they wouldn't fall. Eins and the egg started to fall because Eins was carrying it as a dire ape, and Amsmash tried to help save it. Didn't work. The three of them plummeted. Amsmash decided to take the brunt of the fall in order to save the egg and Eins. Very nice of him. And smashed like a bug from the injuries he'd received from the cele from the celestial servant of the deity, Caden Kalian. Fortunately, Eins had a cardio amp in his back pocket plunged it into his chest, and saved his life. Our heroes then assembled away from the creature as it began its rampage off into the distance. There was talks of possibly trying to mess with it, but we decided because it was ridiculously big, like a thousand feet at the shoulder, we decided not to. So we called our friends with their from the moon with their spaceship who came and picked us up. Our first stop, the city where we dropped off our not-murdered citizens from the town that we totally abandoned in the city of effectively Atlantis without the ocean to talk to the lich that lived there. Yes, this is as crazy as it sounds like. Anyway, he knew some little information about the Trask and time dragons, but we decided, hey, you know what we could do? We can go to the moon and talk to people there. They might know more. Time dragons are a type of space dragons, and our moon friends have space travel. So let's go talk to them. So we have a couple of options. Find some information out. Maybe travel to the planet where the Trask was sent from to see if we get their help. Or, of course, we know about cryo sleep pods, or effectively the same thing as them. We could sleep until the time dragon is old enough to send us back in time to prevent the Trask from becoming mega mutant Trask. Because that's actually the goal. To go back in time and take care of the Trask before it is a mega mutant Trask. So let's see what our heroes can do next week as we head to the moon. 